Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a sequence of function and we have to check whether that sequence of function is convergent or not. If it is convergent, then we are going to discuss that it is uniform convergent or not. So let us consider a given function first. We have fn of x is equal to 1 upon x plus n. So here x is taken from the close interval 0 comma b where b is any positive real number. Okay. So see we are going to find its limit okay limit of that uh, sequence of function but for that what will i do i will discuss a boundary point so let us discuss for x is equal to 0 so for x is equal to 0 we are, for x is equal to 0 we are going to find its limit so limit n tends to infinity fn of x is equal to limit n tends to infinity fn of x is equal to 1 upon x plus n but here we have taken x is equal to 0 so that's why we will have 1 upon n only. So as n tends to infinity value of 1 by n will be 0 obviously getting so that means for x is equal to 0 our sequence of function converges to 0. Let us discuss for remaining points for 0 less than x less than or equal to b. That means in this case we have not considered that 0 but other than 0 we have considered all points of this close interval 0 comma b. So then limit n tends to infinity fn of x is equal to limit n tends to infinity. Let us put the value of fn of x. It is 1 upon x plus n. But if you apply the limit, limit n tends to infinity, what will happen? Denominator will go to infinity. That means value will go to 0. So its value will be 0 by applying the limit. So if x is 0, then also we are getting the value 0. And if x is not 0, then also we are having a limit 0. So therefore, what can we write? Therefore, from both the cases, what we get? Our sequence of function fn converges to f which is 0 on close interval 0 comma b. So this is a limit of sequence of our sequence of function. Now we are going to discuss that convergence is uniform or not. There are several techniques to discuss that convergence is uniform or not. But here I am going to use mn test. For mn test we need to calculate mn first. Let us find out mn now. Now okay let me write here. Now, mn is equal to, okay, what is formula of mn, do you know? It is supremum of mod fn of x minus f of x, right, where x belongs to, okay, let me write, x belongs to close interval 0, comma, b, which is equal to supremum of, okay, mod. What is my fn of x? It is 1 upon x plus n. Let us write here 1 upon x plus n minus f of x. 0 just now we have got f of x is 0 limit is 0 x belongs to close interval 0 comma b right so what will happen uh, anything minus 0 you will have the same term as well as there is no need to apply the mod since n is a natural number cannot be negative and x also member of that close interval okay so x also cannot be negative so no need to worry directly we can write this is supremum of 1 upon x plus n where x belongs to close interval 0 comma b right but see x is non-negative number so if you remove x value will increase we will have 1 by n since you know if you reduce the denominator value will get increased so i am reducing the denominator by removing x so that's why we have got this is less than or equal to 1 by n so supremum is also not required since x already we have removed only n is there so we will have 1 by n only and you know 1 by n converges to 0 as n tends to infinity. So what we get finally our mn is less than or equal to 1 by n and 1 by n tends to 0. So obviously mn also tends to 0 since mn cannot be negative. So therefore mn tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. A very important thing we have got. Since in mn test, we know that if mn tends to 0, that convergence is uniform convergence and we are getting the same. So therefore, what can we say? Therefore, our fn also converges to, uh, uniformly converges to f on close interval 0 comma b. So that convergence is uniform. Okay. So make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.